Welcome back to another episode of Virtual DJ Tips. In our last few videos, we looked at setting up a DVS system, but if you're a scratch DJ, you may want a little something extra out of the software. Today, we're going to look at some options and tweaks to make that DVS experience work the best for you. So for our settings to tweak, we need to go into the settings menu. And we'll just go to options and then time code. And there's a host of time code options available in here. Your time code mode, which is set to smart, you can also set that to relative or absolute. Your time code type, which is actually what time code you're using, what we've seen in the calibration already. It remembers your last settings. Your time code lead in time, it's set to zero by default, but if you have a damaged part of the first portion of your record, you can set that to a later time so it avoids that damaged part of the record. Time code anti-skip, now that's set to three. That's preventing the song position to change if the needle slipped to the next or previous groove. Now it's only for smart mode, so if you're using absolute or relative, it has no convenience for you. Time code needle drop sync. Now this is disabled here because that is the preferred setting for a scratch DJ. By default, it is set to yes. So if you're a scratch guy, make sure you set that to no. Time code pitch slider ignore bend. Now the default is set to yes. You're gonna wanna set this to no. So when it's set to yes, the time code pitch slider will not move during manual pitch bends, breaking the speed of the record. Then we have your time code silence, which is set to one currently. That's probably the best position or 0.1. It is set to 0.2 by default, but you may find that you need to drop it down. This is the level which the time code is considered stopped. So if you're in a very noisy environment, you want to increase that value. So 0.2 is we found to be the best, but if you're not getting that performance that you need, drop it down to 0.1. In other situations, you're going to probably have to increase it higher if it's very, very loud but you're gonna to have to experiment with that with the different venues that you work in. Your time code calibration volume is set automatically and your time code calibration phase is calibrated during calibration so there's no need to adjust that as well. Now the only other option that we need to look at is latency. So if we go to our search and we just type in latency, you'll see that latency is set to automatic. This is preferred. What this does is it uses the latency of your sound card. So if you have a sound card control panel, you would open that up and you would set your latency in there. In most cases, two to four milliseconds is pretty good, but you may need to increase it, especially if you have a consumer grade laptop that doesn't have the performance of a high performance laptop. It's all gonna depend on your computer and sound card combination. So you're gonna have to experiment with that too. But in most cases, Two milliseconds to four milliseconds is not bad at all. So if you're a turntablist, hopefully these options and tweaks do the trick for you. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment down below, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to share it with somebody that might need the information. Until next time, keep your head in the mix.